After taking a school group to Jakor Salon, I was thinking to myself, are we really part of the problem? It's a very interesting thing about global warming, really. Well, we've come here on an aeroplane, contributed to global warming, see the effects of global warming, essentially. See a pro glass in place, so this glacier is receding. Sorry this sounds pretty bad, I knew it would be but I thought it would still be quite a nice little shot. Not sure what I'm saying here but I think I'm probably trying to justify bringing 70 children for the sake of their education. I don't know, let me know what you think, is it worth flying all of those miles contributing to global warming for the sake of educating 70 children about global warming? I think it is, just as long as at least some of those people, or some of you guys watching, actually have a career in sciences and contribute to solving the problems that the human race has kind of got itself into. I posted this picture of me on Facebook and I put the line, I am global warming, discuss. A friend of mine sent me an article which talks about, well, this kind of myth of the individual responsibility around global warming, around plasticisation of the ocean and other kind of environmental issues. Yeah, we are all kind of part of the problem, but they're such massive issues now, they're going to take massive, coordinated action. There's a little white marker behind me and that marks where the glacier was eight years ago. places are receding here on earth and it's a sign if not proof we don't have proof in science but it's evidence of the fact that global warming is a, is a reality and that if we don't slow it down which is a huge proposition we're going to lose out on some of our most beautiful natural features here on earth you know ice has a pretty high specific latent heat and so it takes a lot of energy to actually melt it and it is not just really the sun's radiation obviously all the energy on earth comes from the sun it's not just the incident radiation it is the rising temperatures the rising global temperatures that are going to make these things uh, going to make these things a thing of the past i did right yeah. and of course it doesn't help when the nation most capable of helping solve the problems is actually denying that the global warming is even happening you see, Donald, this is what we call a reproducible finding when several scientists do different science and come to the same conclusions. This is a recent study published by an international group of scientists that are saying basically we are running out of time. We need to cut our carbon emissions by 45% by the year 2030. That's a massive task and it really is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. 45% reduction in carbon emissions, it's just not going to happen. And that's to avoid a one and a half degree rise in global temperatures. So unfortunately, it's, it's over, that, that's the end game. We can't avoid that one and a half degree rise in temperatures. It, that is, that's happened. <laughs> So the next question is going to be how do we reverse that, how do we actually put it back, how do we make that temperature go back in the direction after that one and a half degree temperature change and that's where science is going to come in and that's why you should be studying physics, chemistry, biology, it's your chance to save the world. take massive coordinated action to actually solve these problems so really shouldn't be worrying about what you do as an individual as much 
as putting pressure on your government to help solve these problems. And you should be studying science to help solve the problem.